Hello, everybody. Thank you so much for joining me today. We are going to have so, so, so much fun with Canva. And we are going to learn about how to make some really fun pages. I'm going to share with you some of my favorite hacks, tips, and tricks. Guys, it's just going to be awesome. So, And so I want to show you guys um, how I'm going to make kind of like a planner page like this. And so we're going to go over to Elements and... I always like, I never understood this and then I accidentally discovered it. And I'm truly saying accidentally, my favorite thing in the entire world is tidy up. And I'm gonna show you what I mean by that in just a second here. So we're going to make this box. It's gonna be this bright blue color so that we can see it. Um, obviously like you don't wanna do something in the background if you're going to be repeating this color. This is a little bit too dark. Usually you'd wanna do something more muted so that people can write over top of it. If you wanna use this color as like an outline color like this, then that's fine because it doesn't take up as much printer ink and it's easier to see. But if you're going to have it so that it's something that people are writing on, we wanna do something more plain. But for our intents and purposes here, I'm gonna show this to you. So we wanna do it so that each line is a color block and then a white block and then a color block and then a white block. And I'm going to show you my favorite thing in the world. So this is usually kind of difficult to make sure that you're getting the spacing correct because like, let's be real, it's hard sometimes because I'm a stickler for spacing, but it, it irks me to no end when I'm like, I see that this one, this white space here is wider than this space, drives me bananas, absolutely bananas. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight all of my spaces here, I'm gonna go over here to position and go to tidy up and you couldn't really see it, but it made everything even. So it, when you do tidy up, this is my favorite thing in the world, guys, seriously, especially if you're doing anything with graphs or bars or charts that you have to design, it's really hard to get those lines perfectly, to get them to be, you know, symmetrical and like easily distanced. So doing tidy up evens them out based off of the positioning of the top and the bottom line. So everything else in between here, we're going to mess this up like real bad, throw these guys around a little bit, see what we can do. Okay. Ready? It's going to tidy it back up for me. Position tidy up. One click. I don't have to sit there with like a, uh, you know, a caliper, like measuring things and it's done. It's done. This is my favorite thing because I'm a money blogger. So, so many of the printables that I make, have these lines. It drives me batty, absolutely batty when they're not even. So now let's say we want to change this color because we just talked about how it's it's difficult color to see. You can always, if you really like this color and don't want to try to figure it out, you can always do a transparency where it's, you're making it lighter. And guys, things always print out darker than we had anticipated. It's like, this seems pretty dark. And then you print out, it's like, whoa, that's really too dark. So I usually like to go like one or two shades darker than I really, or lighter than I really think it needs to be. But for our purposes here, we're going to go with something that you can all see that I can see because I have this giant ring light and I'm like kind of blinded by it. <laughs> so now we are going to go ahead and give it a box around it so that this can be something that's pretty. Okay, so now we've given it an outline. You can change the color of the outline. Another thing that I like about Canva is that you can change the brand colors. You can add your own. Um, I have a bazillion of them. But here's something else that's really cool is sometimes, and I, it drives me nuts, but like sometimes if you pick a photo and you're like, you know, let's go with, guys, give me something. It's fun. Not lines and shapes. Give me like um, each. Let's see what a beach will pull up. We wanna go over to photos because here we go. So it pulls from a photo that you've added here. So let's say I wanna use this photo as like color inspiration. Okay, so for like the entire thing, I wanna use this photo as color inspiration. And so I would go over here, I would add my photo, like literally in the middle of the page. And then you can scroll down to the photo colors that it has. And you can pull the colors straight from there you can do replace all if you want to. You can change some of them if you want to. It's really all up to you, but this is just a really cool way of being able to like change these things to make them more 
customizable based on whatever the project is that you're working on. And then you just kind of draw up if you want to go back over to your color, change it to that lilac and then pull it right back. And now we have our cute little thing. <laughs> so I really love this. This is really fun. Um, so I have the paid version of Canva. I'm sure that there are some limitations that you can use with free. I don't know what they are. I haven't had the free version in so long. Um, plus they keep changing things. So I'm not 100% sure on that. But um, with the paid version, you do get all of their stock photos and the graphics and everything. So that's pretty fun. Um, so now we have our pretty little box here. You can use this kind of page as like a note page. You, We're gonna make it a little bit smaller here. So I'm gonna duplicate this because I like this page as its own little notes page. We're gonna come back in here, spoiler alert, in just a few minutes and pop in some check boxes here. Um, we can even bring this up a little further so that it has like a white line there. Bring this guy down and there's a white line there. And if you guys don't know this yet, you can grab, um, everything on the page with one click. So you click on your mouse and then you just drag it across. If you only wanna grab certain things, so we're gonna make this a little bit easier to see for this purpose. So let's say in this case that we want to only have three of these. You can just highlight three of them or let's say that you want this piece and three of these to copy, okay? So you can, if you click and hold shift, and click with your mouse, you select this thing, and this thing, and I can do this thing, and this thing. We're going to copy, we're going to paste. And now it's selected the three things that I wanted, and nothing more. That's a really cool feature, which sounds like super arbitrary, but I promise I'm going somewhere with it in just a second. There's a lot of different things that you can do with shortcuts inside of Canva that I really, really appreciate about them. So now we have this adorable little page that we can use as if you wanted to fill things in or you just wanted to leave it blank and give your people a prompt at the top, it's right here. You can do that. You can send this box to the back if you want so that it's not visible in front of all of the lines. You can do a lot of different things. Let's say we wanna make sure that this is centered. You can go over here to position and make sure that it is in the center without having to do like the lines thing. You can go off of the lines, which is totally fine. But let's say we're, let's say we're being lazy. We can go over here, go to, whoops, that's not the one I wanted. Too many things and it's not gonna collect. <laughs> so we have to do it by the grid, which is okay. We'll do another one where it gets to be centered. And so there we have it. There we go. Now you're centered. Now it's cooperating with me. So from the beginning, really quick, let's do another little recap because I think that this is a really cool thing to point out. From the start, this was our first page that we created. We started with the idea of making sure that we have a timeline on this planner page. You can do this and customize it however you want to. We're going to build this page out. We're gonna build our own planner page based off of these things. So we started with this guy. We can use this to come back in with check boxes. We have this guy, which is the beginning of our actual planner page. This can be our notes section. We'll add it in text in just a second. And now we also have a blank, like fill in the blanks kind of checkbox section. 